All right, guys, Georgia Jim. So my Avis Iron Rock finally arrived. It's uh, been bouncing around the postal system for a while. It wasn't lost. It was just uh, taking a free trip. Uh, I decided to pick this on video just because uh, I've been seeing comments here and there where people complain about the Schlag Keyway. They'll be trying to pick with pick and uh, their pick slides down and things like that. So I thought this would be a good uh, opportunity to show what I like to do. You can just take a small wiper insert. This is a 30 thousandths. You can drop it in on this way or you can drop it in here. Uh, this actually gives you a little bit more room to pick. Um, this, if you need more lift, this is the way to do it, in my opinion. And if you need more room in the keyway, this helps. But uh, here we get this pick. I'm gonna actually use top of the keyway tension while I pick and just use this as a platform. All right, so pin one is binding. We got a small click, still binding. All right, so we got a false set. Two is counter rotating. All right. Three is not giving us anything. Let's go check four. Four is counter rotating. Letting off tension while I lift the pin. I think we got it. We did drop one. There's a one click, two clicks. Let's see, did we drop two? We did, two is good now. Three is still not binding, four feels good. Let's check number five. And it's kind of rotating as we push it up. I think we got it there. And I just touched three and the false set got deeper. So, Let's see. Just letting off tension as I try to get it set. I think we may have got it. Dropped one again. No, dropped something. Two. Okay, there's three. Four. Five. Let's go back and check one one more time. Yep. And, okay, one. We dropped two. Come on, two. And there we go. So, again, just using a little platform just makes it so much easier than trying to uh, keep a finger there, or wedge the pick against it, something like that. It's just much easier just to have something in there to uh, take up that room. We might as well gut it. After I locked it up. This is key retaining. Grab our pinning tray. And the key retaining feature fell out and I won't be using that anyway. All right, so with the Avis, um, you can use, what did I do with my gut wrench? Uh, well, there it is. All right, we'll pop off this C-clip right quick. there there's our tail piece remember to put that back on <laughs> all right with this you don't want to turn the core too far because this little uh pin can get caught in these chambers it is a good idea to shim i think we should be good there grab my follower and a shim always a good idea to shim just makes life a lot easier okay so we're just going to press this little notch start pushing there we go 
just to get it started. And we'll use the flat side. There we go. So this is pin for five. Come on. Okay, well, there's pin two. Three, four, and five. And since this is an 8345 core, should have a serrated in one. And the way their serrateds work, if I can get that, that small little serration will actually give you almost like a little a mini false set. And then you'll get some counter rotation coming out of that. So it kind of acts like a spool and a serrated at the same time. Then we should have a spool. And these are considered to be orange belt locks on the Lock Pickers United. So it's uh, not actually, a, I wouldn't call it a beginner lock. It's not intermediate. It's more of a beginner versus a novice level lock, in my opinion. Um, if you're new to counter rotation and things like that, these are uh, nice little locks to uh, get a good feel for that. Let me just knock everything over. And we'll get that in focus because why would I keep things in focus? Again, so we had the serrated and then four spools, all standard key pins. So that's the Avis 8345 as I drop the springs out. But uh, that's it for the Avis Iron Rock and my tips for picking the Schlake Keyway. All right, guys, thanks.